Hello my little butterflies and today we are here to do a collective graphic novel review. So you guys, I have two graphic novels that I got from NetGalley that I need to do a review for. Um, I did put it on Goodreads but I wanted to make a video for them because I did like them. They are both from NetGalley like I said and they are both from DC Comics. So I did like both of them but I kind of feel like, eh? about them you know the first one that i read was the suicide squad volume one the black vault by rob williams and i really loved i love 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 the freaking graphics in here like they were freaking amazing it was so beautiful but i didn't really care for the storyline like the storyline itself was boring but the graphics were absolutely amazing i did give it a three out of five stars because of the graphics and I like Suicide Squad, like period. That movie was so good. Like after I read this, I even went and made the theme song for Suicide Squad, um, Heathens. That's my freaking ringtone now. Like, cause I love that movie so much. And that's probably why I ended up getting the three out of five stars, cause I did like it. I just thought the storyline itself was a little boring and it kind of dragged on. But like some of the storyline I did like, but some of it I didn't cause it was boring. Not that it was bad, it was just it was boring. I felt like it could have had more to it. And this is the cover. I put the cover up on Goodreads because I have the actual graphic novel on my computer. I don't have it on my Kindle because it didn't have it. Nagella didn't have it in the Kindle edition. So I had to put it on my computer because I needed something to read the actual PDF. My favorite thing that I really liked about the suicide graphic novel was this last graphic at the end. Because at the end it had like a bunch of graphics at the end. And I just, I love that. But my favorite one had to be this one of Joker that I thought was just so beautiful, y'all. Like, it was so pretty. Whoever did that, it was fucking great. Like, the, it was just this, I, I wish I had the picture to show y'all, but it was just so amazing and beautiful. And I loved it so freaking much. Like, if y'all if y'all seen it, y'all would know. Recommendation-wise, I guess I would recommend it because I love the graphics. The graphics were freaking amazing. I guess I would. But plot-wise, like I said, the plot is kind of boring and it kind of dragged on. But it wasn't terrible. But I did love the graphics. So I guess I guess I would recommend it to those who are looking for some really good graphics. But I guess I wouldn't recommend it if you're looking for something that's like really like big and plot driven. I wouldn't recommend it. But the graphics were fucking good. Like I would really buy this graphic novel just for the graphics. And I think I am going to buy those. But just for the graphics. Not even for the plot. Just for the graphics. Because the graphics are freaking good. Okay the next graphic novel that I got reviewed from NetGalley and DC Comics is The Flintstones Volume 1 by Mark Russell. And I gave this a 2 out of 5 stars. This is the cover. I don't know if y'all can see it, I really don't, I hope y'all can. Otherwise, you know, I'll put a picture in the, in the next slide. But with this, I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars because I felt let down. Now, when I saw that there was a comic for the Flintstones, I got I got excited, okay? I got, like, really excited, and I was, like, really bucked up because I, like, I love the Flintstones. I would love to see some comics for the Flintstones, okay? I didn't like it. I liked the first two comics, and there's six comics in this book. So, 2 out of 6 comics, I liked that's a letdown. The last three got really boring. I felt like I didn't like them. It's like it got to the point where I was like, okay, I don't even want to read this anymore. Like the subjects that they were trying to play on were really good subjects, but they didn't do it good. But I really did like, I like the graphics in here too. I like how they like beefed up the, the characters. It's like, you know, like Barney and Fred was like, they was like chubby, like chubby chases, you know? They was like, like thick people they just looked unhealthy and stuff and this and this one they made them buff and uh big they made barney like really tall i'm like barney was like a shorty so i did like how they you know like modernized it i did like how the story itself they bought different you know modern issues like back to the stone age era you know so i did like how they played on certain subjects i really liked that i thought it was really cool but I wish they would have done more with the last four comics. I really did. And there was one particular comic that I felt like they shouldn't even put in there that like really ruined it for me. And it, I think it was the third one. I think it was the third one. It might have been a fourth one. But it was about freaking aliens. And I'm like this. But it was so stupid. It wasn't even fun to read. It was like. 
I would have just been fine if that wasn't even in there. They would have never made that one. I was like, did not like that one at all. And that kind of kissed it to me. That started to really kill it and bring my expectations like really down. Because I did have high expectations. Because it's a fucking Flintstone. Like I was bucked up. I was like, yes, it's going to be good. No. So that's why I didn't give it a two out of two out of five stars. I wouldn't recommend going buying this. Because like I said, I only did like the first two. The graphics are beautiful. But it's not... The graphics aren't a big enough win for me to want to go and spend my money on the collection itself. Now, if you're going to go buy the individual graphic novels, then that's fine. But don't get the volume itself because then you're like stuck with, you're going to be stuck with four of them that you didn't like. Um, I would recommend going by the comic number one and comic number two. I don't know the names, but you know, I'll put them on the screen. But I would definitely recommend book one and book two. But I, I don't like the last four. I did not like them at all i definitely would not recommend the one with the aliens because i didn't like that one either it was not good so you guys that is my review my collective you know graphic novel review on the suicide squad volume one the black vault and the flintstones volume one i think you guys should go buy suicide squad because i did like that the graphics are amazing i love the graphics at the end the story does get a little boring down the line but it's not something that will like feel like make you feel like you shouldn't avoid it i did really really like the graphics the graphics were divine if not then you guys can go and get off of net galley y'all should go request to get it from net galley and see if they'll give it to you then that way you know you wouldn't have to spend any money on it all you do is get the review so thank you guys for watching my video thank you guys for watching the video with us today and we will see you guys in the next video bye say bye bye to them say bye bye say bye to the friends bye She's looking like, who the hell are you talking to, mommy? <laughs> Bye. So I'm going to eat now. Yeah. <laughs>